This is a great drill to set up a little workstation on the practice tee when you're hitting shots and you're fighting just poor contact. It's kind of a weak shot. You get to your driver and you're hitting a slice. Or you're just not hitting your iron solid at all. And what I do is you'll notice that I have a club on the ground here that represents a parallel to the target line. You'll notice my second club is angled a bit back. And you'll notice it if this is 6 o'clock on the clock down here. It's about at uh, 7 o'clock at this point. So you can see that the club head is angled back with a handle pointing to the grip. Now what I do is I'll set up a station and you can see face on it's about a foot and a half away where the grip end is from the ball. So when you're hitting balls here just create a little room here so when you start down you'll be okay and you'll be safe. So here I go. So I know that basically I'm representing what I call the arc of the swing. There's no straight lines in golf. Except for you can see my target line is fairly straight, but to swing the club along the line at impact, through impact, the club must be traveling from the inside. One of the beauties of, of this, the secret grip is this, is once I get the club to the top and I start back to the top of the swing, my weight starts to move to my left side. You can see that face on. The club now, because I've got weight in the grip, the club wants to fall. Take a look when it falls that the club head is parallel to this one now. This is more of an inside pass situation that gets rid of the slice. And then the club starts to square up. And as it squares up, you can see my impact condition face is square. But notice that the club head came down from the inside. If you're a slicer, chances are the handle is always moving out away and the upper body is unwinding to the outside. This workstation helps you visually to look out of the right side of your eye and you can see that you can get, if you get the secret grip coming back down on the inside of this shaft, the inside shaft, we're gonna have a nice inside approach to the golf ball. So I'm almost feeling like the secret grip is falling back down like this, it's not moving out. And if you hit some shots with this workstation, you're gonna start seeing a pattern that's like this. It's a little bit more of a draw pattern where the club's coming to the inside versus that over the top move. Visually it's good and with a secret grip in your hand you'll start to feel the club falling versus moving out. It's a big key to your improvement in your game.